Okay, welcome to this uh, GCSE lesson on validation. Now, first of all, uh, my apologies. I'll notice I'm not wearing a tie. Uh, my tie is still in Shanghai, and unfortunately, because of the lockdown in France, it's not possible to purchase a tie at the moment. So, I do apologize for that. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at validation, and then we're going to go to you guys having a go actually doing this. So, what is validation to start with? Well, according to the BBC, validation is an automatic computer check to ensure that data is entered is sensible and reasonable. It does not check the accuracy of the data. What does this mean for us? Well, it means that when we write a computer program, we need to add in a section which checks the data. And there's numbers of different types of validation we can do for this. Okay, and here's a few of them we can have a quick look at. So, check digit. We can look at the last one or two digits in a code and see if um, that's correct. And that's something that's used in something like a barcode in a supermarket. We can use a format check to check the data is in the correct format. Now, date's a good example of that. Is that a possible number considering that's a date? A length check. Well, again, this isn't too hard. Basically, just checking it's not too big or too small. And it could be using a phone number or something where you're expecting a specific number of digits. A lookup table, well this looks up the values in a table that you've produced to make sure it's actually an entry that it will accept. A presence check, which checks the data has been entered into a field. Is there something going in there? A spell check, well this is similar to the lookup table but it's going to look it up in a dictionary. And a range check, so this is going to check it between some specific ranges. Now we're going to have a go at doing two things on this one. We're going to have a go at uh, checking that the type is correct and then we're going to have a go at doing a bit of a range check on this one as well if we've got time. So let's have a quick look at this. We're not going to do this in PowerPoint because that would be a bit weird. We're going to use um, Python and we're going to use the idle interface for it. So I'm just going to escape from this to start with. And we're going to go into idle. We learn how to spell on the way. Okay, wait for idle to open. Okay, this is the interactive window. It's brilliant, but not what I want at the moment. So I'm going to go to file and go to new. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a, a very simple variable. I'm going to call it age. Okay, and I'm going to ask a simple question with this. So it's an integer input which asks, what is your age? Okay, make sure we get the right number of parentheses on the end. And then I want an output to go with this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to print out. Um, so you are space plus the age plus years old. Okay. Now, for those of you who've done Python before, which is hopefully all of you, you'll notice there's immediately an issue here. This is taking an integer, but this is outputting a string. Um, well, it should be opening a string, but it's outputting an integer in the middle of a string. So we have to convert this into a string. Okay, we could run that to show you that, but it's just an extra stage we don't need at the moment. To run the module, I'm going to just briefly save this into my downloads, mostly because I need to know I need to clean this up later. I'm going to save this as age. And what you should see is when I run it, it says, What's your age? I can put in an age, press enter, it says, So you're 41 years old. So that works. The problem here goes when I do something it doesn't expect. So if I run the module and say something like, what's your age? And I get myself confused and I write in Bob for some reason. Okay. It tells us we've got an error on line two. It's expecting an integer and I'm putting a string. It's getting itself confused. So this is when we need to start to look at our data and validate what we're putting in. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to validate the information to make sure that it's um, the right type going in. And to do that, I'm going to create a function. So I'm going to uh, define something called validation. And I'm going to create an argument here called prompt. Okay. Now, what we want it to do is we want it to look at the information and only input it if it's the right type. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a very simple loop. We're going to use a while true loop. So we're going to do while true. And we're going to say while it's true, what we should try to do is we should try to return an integer input from the argument here, which we call prompt. And make sure those brackets match. OK. And that will then change to false, which should end the loop, except if that doesn't work, what we're going to do is we're going to print some sort of message out. It doesn't really matter what it is. I'm going to say, please enter a number. 
okay? Now, what's normally good practice as we're doing through this, put comments in, so I'm just gonna put a very brief comment in here to remind me. So this function checks the data entered is an integer. Okay, we now need to, this to actually use it, because although we've created this function, this function is not being used here. So what we can do is we can take out the integer input here, and instead we're gonna call this function validation here, I'm trying to spell it correctly, get rid of that extra parentheses at the end there, and this, age equals validation, should now call this function. If their data entered is um, a number, it should record, uh, return that, and add it in, so and we'll get a response here. If it doesn't, what we should get here is we should get a um, error message, at which point we should get a second chance to enter it. So let's give this a go. Okay, so let's run the module. Okay, what's your age? So if I put in something simple just to test it again, like 41, it should run through, that's fine. Now let's try it with the wrong message in. So let's go run the module. Okay, I'm gonna write Bob in again. It says, please enter a number. And if I write Bob in again, it enters a number again. Or if I write Amy or anything that's not an integer. Interestingly, if I write in something like 10.5, okay, it will also um, reject that because that's a float. And that's a different issue we can talk about later. But if I put in a standard number, a standard integer here, a whole number, okay, then we'll get a response here and the uh, program will end. So that's basically very simple validation. You can obviously extend this, so we can have extra bits happening on here. So for instance, if we're doing this in a school, we might want to check that their name is in within a certain range. So we could create a new one called, uh, a new function called something like age range. Important when you're creating variables that there's no um, breaks. There's quite a nice thing called uh, camelback where you can do something like this, okay, which is probably good practice to do here. I'm gonna create a new argument for this one. I'm not being very clever with these, and probably could be a bit more uh, sensible about the naming of these, but I'm gonna call this one prompt one. So what's gonna happen on the uh, age range one is we're gonna look for ages within a specific range. Now, if this was in something like primary school, we might be looking at top end age of something like 13 for year eight. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a while true loop again. And this one is gonna be an entry which equals, now we're gonna make use of this existing one here, so this entry is gonna call the other one. So we're gonna call it validation, and we're gonna enter the information from the prompt. One, in this case. And what we're gonna say is, if the entry is less than or equal to, let's say 13 in this case, then what we want to do is return the entry and end the loop. So we're gonna change that to false. Okay, but if the entry is not correct, what we're going to do is we're going to use an else. We could use um, an elif, but there's only two options in here, so we're going to use else to make it quite simple. I'm going to print a new message, and this one is going to be please enter a number below number equal to or below 13. Okay, now the thing here is this now needs to be called. So what we need to do here is we need to change this age one so that this is now calling the age range. Noting the accidental space. And then the age range will call the validation of the um, integer. Okay, so if we run this one through, I might have to do it a couple of times to show it. Okay, so if I put the age in correctly, let's say I put in some 41, okay, it won't accept it because I'm too old, so let's say I put in 13, it's fine, it runs through. But if I do the same thing again, but this time put in a uh, word, okay, so if I put in Bob, it rejects it. If I put in a number that's too high, it rejects it. And it's just gonna keep looping through because this function here is calling this function, and in both cases, what we're doing is we're validating the data to make sure the data is good enough, okay? And this is what we're gonna be experimenting with this lesson.